Coach expressed some confidence going down to UCLA, and I, I think we all wondered, hey, you know, is that she just trying to pump you guys up or, or what? But then you guys go and win a game. Just what was the attitude you took down there? I think we thought that we were going to catch them on their heels. Like, um, with our season, has been a little bit up and down. So I thought that them being, like, the number one team going into the weekend, we're like, oh, um, they're going to take us lightly. So if we pounce on them early in the game, which we did, I think we can steal a win from them, and that's exactly what we did. What other steps has Coach taken to kind of keep you guys believing in yourselves and, and positive and, and feeling like you can you can win games? I think just recognizing and remembering our big wins this season, saying, hey, we beat UCLA, like we can beat anyone in the country. We ha we've had close games against the top teams. Like we're just remembering the times where we have had great games and we take that into the next game. Has it been up and down for you guys emotionally or do you feel like you've kept a pretty steady keel? We've been pretty steady this season. Like um, we haven't been too emotionally high or low. Like we get big wins and we're excited, but we're not like, oh, this was it. Like we are focusing on the next game. How do you feel like you're swimming the bat right now? I'm very confident up to bat. I'm feeling good. Um, it feels nice that the team as well has also um, been swinging it really well. So it helps to know that I have teammates behind me that can pick me up if I don't have a great day or a great at bat. What were the steps for finding that zone you've been in? Um, I think just constantly working, watching film, watching myself swing, and just tweaking little things here and there. Just getting my confidence up at practice. Anything specific that you've changed as a player? I mean, you've been hitting like 400 in the last couple weeks. <laughs> Anything specific or just a hot streak? Or? Um, I did change one little thing in my stance, and I tried to go back to what I was doing like last summer, and it has worked very well for me. You have to say with that one thing? Oh, it was just keeping my hands back a little bit more. Gotcha. How long ago was that? That was probably at the start of when I started hitting really well. So it was really instantaneous? Yes. <laughs> Is that something you saw watching filming yourself? Or yeah, I actually, noticed? Mm -hmm. yeah, I was looking at myself swing from over the summer. I was like, wow, that looks a lot different than what I've been doing here. And the coaches haven't tweaked anything here. Mm -hmm. It was just something that I had gradually changed. So had you been kind of frustrated or whatever and looking for looking for clues as to <laughs> what it would take to get going? Yes, okay. I was definitely looking for something that it was and I found it. Okay. The way your schedule is set up this year, you played you know, most of the teams at the top, the standings, and most of them on the road. Now that swings the other direction. Are you guys pretty confident you can make a run here at the end and, mm -hmm. and get into postseason? Yeah, I think we've definitely played a good schedule up to this point to where we're feeling very confident going into these next home games. We're very happy to be at home in front of our home crowd because that's definitely an advantage here at the Jane with how great our fans are. Um, we're really looking forward to this weekend and just pulling out some wins here in the next few weeks. I realize it's always a one game at a time kind of approach for everybody, but there is only about 15, 14, 15 games left in the season. Is the postseason the goal? I mean, it was before the season started. Everybody said it was. Is is that still the goal and the mindset right now? Yes. The big picture? It's definitely in the picture, and we just have to do really well these next few weeks, and I believe that we can. If we've proved ourselves against UCLA and all these big teams this year, I think we definitely have a chance of making it. Going back to the, the changes you made in your batting, you also moved in the batting order a little bit. How much did that play into your thinking, your mindset of just being willing to make changes to your stance and other things? I think that probably gave me a little less pressure. Being the second spot, it's like, okay, I have to do this, have to do that. In the fifth spot, I have a little bit more flexibility. I can lead off an inning. I can just, I can have runners on. Like, it's just a little bit more flexibility, and I feel confident in that spot. With Jordan trying, I mean, I know Coach is going to try to go to her three, three times in a weekend here down the stretch. Is, I don't want to say pressure exactly, but is there a different approach from the offense to try and try and give her that run support to try and you know free her up a little bit so that she can pitch all three games a week? Yes, we definitely want to score early. We're trying to keep her pitch count low, so we're telling her, you know, just pitch in the strike zone, have her defense make plays, because our defense is what's keeping this team like very effective against these big teams like UCLA. Um, so we're just saying, like, throw in the strike zone, let your defense make a play, and the offense will take care of the rest. How young you guys are on the infield. What was the process of building chemistry? Because, I mean, you've been solid right from the get-go. Um, well, we all hang out with each other off the field. We're all great friends. Um, we knew coming into this, especially with everyone leaving, that we were going to have to step up. And having four freshman infielders last weekend, was it was pretty fun. We make jokes out of it because it's, it's, really, it's really cool. You don't see that in college softball a lot. So I think just having our good friendships off the field has carried on to the field as well. With, with the margin of error so thin for making the postseason, how do you kind of balance that in terms of staying loose and, and kind of also keeping that focus of got to win some games? I think we just have the same mindset through every game. We're not trying to press to make it to somewhere. We're just keeping it one game at a time like we have been all season. 
and I think it's in everyone's mind in the back of our heads but we're not necessarily pointing it out every day and not saying okay we have to do this because we have to get here it's like one game at a time trust the process and just keep going from there